So it's God the glory for all that he's doing. And we welcome everyone to the special CMM ordination with friends from many nations, intercessors, praying, watchmen and women on the wall, prophesying and declaring the word of the Lord. Meet in due season. And we just uh, thank you, Lord, that you're already here in each of us, Lord. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, for wisdom, for guidance, for power, might, comfort, Lord, and we just worship you and exalt you in all that we do, Father, as we enter into your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and praise on our lips. We had someone going to do worship, I guess uh, they're on their way. Uh, and so we will carry on and maybe we'll have some worship uh, in a little bit. Go ahead, Emily. We have some as usual, per um, every ordination, our powerhouses being ordained of the Lord. And I was praying uh, this morning, and the Lord was speaking clearly about a time of commissioning with courage for the days ahead, for Amen. what is happening, what is going on, and what we can do to prevent the enemy from destroying. God's plans. We know that we have the victory with clarity and assuredness that we have through Jesus Christ. And we have the victory through the completed work on the cross. And even before the foundation of the world, the Lord knew that we would each be here today and those online with us. And we just are in awe and wonder of his extravagant grace and mercy and his pure and total unequivocal, limitless, fathomless love that he has for each of us, for our families, for his plans, for us to overtake the enemy and to give the Lord the glory in all that we do. And we just uh, thank you, Lord, for friends yes. from around the world, Lord, of how you connected us, Lord, you chose us, you called us and you set us apart and you watched over us until this day. Father, by your grace and your mercy, we give you the glory and honor and praise with every cell in our being, Father. We thank you that the healer is in the house. Amen. Lord, that there are times of refreshing yes. happening even now as your waterfalls of your glory yes. that are indescribable, Amen. that are amazing, that are be even beyond our uh, comprehension and our wildest imagination. That's who you are, Lord. Yes. And we bow down before you. Yes. We exalt your holy name. Lord. There is none like you. No, not one. And Lord, we just surrender and submit, yield, align, as we want to partner with you in what you are doing. Lord, as you're launching these out today, uh, commissioners of your courage, distributors of your love, Lord, in this lost and hurting and dying world, Lord, many are losing hope. Many are losing their way. And you have prepared this uh, CMM Global Family and those being ordained today to offer comfort, hope, guidance, clarity, peace that is only found in you, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah. And Lord, as this week as we celebrate Passover mm -hmm. and all that you've done for us, all these centuries, Lord, and as we celebrate the resurrection, of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, that we walk in that resurrection life, Lord, even today. None of us would be here without your grace and your resurrection power, Father. And we just give you continual praise and glory, Lord. Father, as you prepare us for the days ahead, the most exciting time in our lives, the best is ahead, the most exciting time in all of history that the prophets of old dreamed of, Lord, that they would see this come to pass as this end time fulfillment, this end time fruition would be laid out before you, Lord, before the nations of the earth. As we read in Habakkuk 1.5, look and be utterly amazed at the work I will do in the nations. Yeah. Or you would not believe even if you were told. And we just thank you, Father, 
and we give you glory and praise. And we welcome our dear brother Rodrigo Granja from Ecuador, Ecuador as we do just a few minutes of praise and worship. Welcome, Rodrigo. <laughs> Let's take this moment to focus on the Lord, especially in this time that we kind of remember all the things that He did for us. Let's try to engage our minds, our hearts, and our souls, and um, praise Him.
Mais elle m'en fait un truc comme ça. Ça fait ça. Ça va être peut-être pour ça.
Praise the Lord in his spirit. All the bridges we could have With you, every bridge ever be. We live for you. And we He's losing pain above the field. Jesus is the only one who ever sing. Worthy of every word we could ever read. We're here for you. Every There is no one There is no desire Open up my eyes and see There 
Jesus, the only one that can be saved. Recording the heart. We need a bandwidth. We need a bandwidth. We need a Open up my eyes in your I
So blessed with each one of you here today. Just welcome you in the name of the Lord. We have people 
I see Catholica from Spain, Hola Hermana, and uh, brothers and sisters from, from Ecuador, from the great state of Maine, and even North Carolina and other places. I know some people are on the road with the holiday week. And just hallelujah for the resurrection of Jesus. Yeah. That we're all <laughs> resurrection life by his grace and his mercy and i just saw the lord during worship smiling over each and every one of you he knows the trials that you've been going through he knows the situations and the circumstances that you or family members face and he's smiling over you he's our hope he's our source our joy He's our ever-present help in time of need. And praise God for the Holy Spirit, who's the best yeah. teacher ever. Yeah. When yeah. Jesus ascended to heaven yeah. and said, I must go so that the Holy Spirit would come. Mm -hmm. It was like, it wasn't a substitute teacher. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> we think it's lesser. It was equal and different and a variant of of God's sovereignty, mm -hmm. and in each of you is the greatness of the Lord put in you mm -hmm. with that measure of faith to accomplish great exploits for his glory in these days, and as I mentioned earlier this morning, I was really hearing this is a time of commissioning and ordaining those for courage in the days ahead. We all need a dose of courage and faith that moves mountains, that speaks to those mountains, be removed and cast into the sea. And if we believe and we do not doubt in our hearts or minds, it will be done when we pray and declare things according to his word. Mm -hmm. It is established, like we read in Job 22, 28, declare a thing and it shall be established unto you. And there is a solid foundation rooted and grounded in Christ alone in each of you that you are called to pour out, to give away yourselves continually into the lost and the dying world. Those that are uh, facing challenges that need hope and encouragement. Oftentimes in the days ahead, we will see it's our brothers and sisters of equal faith or, or mature stature that's needing encouragement and the fellowship of the saints to be able to persevere to that overcoming um, place of victory that we have in Christ. And so we are in this journey together. We are sojourners for a temporary season in a very strange place. <laughs> and the Lord gives us the wisdom by his Holy Spirit to have the discernment and the clarity to see through the um the spirits of man, the traditions of man, the religious spirit, Jezebel, Leviathan, all kinds of evil spirits that he gives us the knowledge and the ability and the authority. And I've been reading recently, you know, we need the dunamis power, which yeah. is that explosive power, but he also gives us an exousia of power, an mm -hmm. authority that all authority in heaven and earth was given by the Father to Jesus, and Jesus gives that to us. However, are we trustworthy? The Lord says if he can trust us in small things, then he will trust us in the greater things. And that includes the area of being accountable as a mature son or daughter of God to carry the assignment even when no one understands us, to be obedient. Um, obedience is better than sacrifice. We all know that. But I pray we get a revelation of what that is because some of us will be giving bold, daring assignments to others, but for God, nothing is impossible. Yeah. I remember years ago praying for someone that's well-known, a powerful, mighty evangelist who's most of the time in Africa. And this woman was very, very sick. And I was out at the time um, doing my work, my job around the Charlotte area. And I was praying and asking the Lord to heal this person, this mighty warrior. And he said, if you do this and this and this, she's healed. Huh. So I did that. And it took about an hour and a half to drive in a certain direction on a certain route during my job. And he said, it's done. And then later that night, I heard she was miraculously healed. I know millions were praying for her, 
but still it's listening to that still small voice when he gives us a map or a blueprint or a scroll for an assignment that we're faithful to carry it out. Even when it's illogical, it makes no sense because our God is sovereign and he's not a God of logic or formulas or ways that uh, just can be repeated time after time. It's obedient. You rarely saw Jesus heal people twice in the same manner. He only did and said what the Father did and said. And so we are called to be that unique expression in all of creation to be obedient at all costs. Are we willing to be obedient even to death? For we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We love not our lives unto death. I was listening to our friend Tommy Ariomi uh, yesterday. He was arrested in Nigeria. And last night he, uh, he spoke in Abuja, right? Correct. North. A powerful message. I encourage you to, to watch that video. <clears throat> and he said, I, I'm not after self-preservation. What are we after? We have to bring glory to the Lord. Are we willing to go into the battles at the risk of, of our safety, our families, our incomes, to be able to be obedient, to climb out of one foxhole and go into the next foxhole because we're following his instructions? We have a good friend, Sully, from Atlanta who followed the Lord, brave man, pray for him. Um, but they have him on satellite footage. He, he went by himself. He sold his two restaurants, took his own money, went to Syria to help the Kurds fight ISIS a few years ago. And within a short time, and, and his friend was trying to get him to contact us because we network with friends around the world for assignments of how we can help each other. He said, no, the Holy Spirit told him to go by himself, don't connect with anybody. He goes there within three weeks, he is um, protecting as a personal bodyguard, the president of Kurdistan. And he gained that Muslim leader's trust. And within a few days, the president of Kurdistan put him in charge of his teenage daughter. He said, I know you're a Christian and all my other men are Muslims, but I trust you with my daughter. And they did these great exploits and amazing things of times we have pictures of a um, Russian rocket propelled grenade like this long or bigger that hit him in the chest. And one of our friend's daughters, Mary, who's getting ready to have another baby in Atlanta, um, gave him a pocket Bible. And under his coat, he had a US flag sewed on the pocket. And he had that pocket Bible in there. And that RPG hit him oh, in the flag and the Bible, knocked him over, knocked the wind out of him, but didn't kill him. <laughs> and another time they were throwing a hand grenade at the president of Kurdistan, and he dove on top of the hand grenade and it didn't kill him. And then they, uh, they rescued many people. They were told to go to Raqqa to rescue like 60 um, uh, Christians that were under siege and hiding from uh, Islamic terrorists. And they go across four border crossings, and here's a white American in with these Arab guys. The other guys were all Muslims, but they were on the right side. They got past. The Lord made him invisible so they could get into Raqqa, the ISIS uh, stronghold at the time. And they were told at first there was like five or 10 people, but when they got there, there was 60 people. So they stole an ISIS truck to haul these people, go past the four checkpoints again to safety, to save lives. And here was the man just following what the Lord did. And then in the, um, um, when they were taking the city of um, Nineveh, what's the modern name of it? Um, anyway, the ancient city of Nineveh, um, ISIS stronghold at the end when ISIS was being defeated. He was in there with um, like eight guys and they're going up and down the streets and the Holy Spirit is telling them, go right through this pathway, go left through this doorway, go out the back of this house, turn right. And he's getting moment by moment spontaneous instructions from the Holy Spirit. Are we prepared 
for the battles ahead. And he goes out and they've got this on satellite footage and he tells his guys, go down this way and we'll go around the corner, we'll come back. And there was 80 ISIS terrorists with machine guns no. looking for them because they could. They heard they were in that neighborhood. They go around the back, they sneak up behind them and eight guys take out 80 terrorists. Wow. <laughs> a few days goes by, a man comes into his tent, no night, he doesn't know if it was a soldier, or an official or an angel. And he said, you've been wanting to get out of here. You've got five minutes, pack your stuff. Puts the stuff up, puts it in his duffel bag, they put a bag over his head. They put him on a plane. They change planes four times. He gets off the plane in Guam in the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. And it turns out it supposedly was our government. Who knows whose who's it was really, but they said they were with the US government with the CIA and they took his passport several times and seized it and uh, wouldn't let him leave America or wouldn't let him get back in America. So he's in Guam and they're questioning him. And they said, how did you get this intel about where these guys were gonna be? And he said to him, if you were a Christian, you would understand. Amen. If you were a Christian, you would understand. Because they had showed him the satellite footage of then he known right where to go and he had no equipment, but he had the essential equipment, a voice and a heart. Yeah. Amen. belonging on loan from God that he could follow those instructions hmm. at, at trigger point responses to stay alive and to keep his Muslim brothers alive right. for these assignments. And so in the days ahead, we're going to need to receive the mantle of obedience, of love, of devotion, of courage that the Lord has already provided for us. He gives us everything we need, even more than enough to overcome the challenges, the trials of life. He gives us his living word. And I pray that the, the words would come off the page in new, fresh ways. You know, we read in the New Testament in Jesus' own words, you have heard it said, but now I say, and everything changed. That revelatory encounters of the living God can take those words or verses that you may have read a hundred times over the last 20 or 50 years or three days and put a whole new meaning, the spin of truth, of heavenly reality that is the eternal home where we come from and where we will be and where we are even right now as we're bilocationally seated with Jesus Christ Amen. on the throne of God. Yes. And he sits in the third heaven with Father God. He's interceding on your behalf day and night, the night and day. Um, far above every principality, Amen. every power, yes. far above every dominion. Yes. And that's where he is teaching us and wants to teach us how to do warfare in the heavenlies from the third heaven, where we don't have to deal with the petty spirits that we can give the devil a black eye. Satan, the Lord rebuke you for trying to enter, halt, steal, kill, and destroy any of our friends, destinies and plans yeah. or their family members. Yeah. We pray the blood of Jesus and the holy yes. bloodlines of Jesus yes. around each one of us and all the members yes. watching and all the CMM family around the world, yes. advancing the kingdom of God, destroying the works of the enemy, in 70 nations yeah. as the Lord leads and just connects his family. It's not rocket science. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes. Who's ready to carry some of his light? Amen. Yeah. His light refreshes, it renews our youth, it renews our strength as we soar on eagle's wings with him that we can truly experience the fullness of his joy. Yeah. He meant it when he said it. Those weren't words written on a paper. Those were words written to teach us how to live and how to overcome. Amen. So Father God, we just thank you for each yeah. one with the, the multifaceted gifts, the multifaceted 
expression of the facets of the beauty of your holiness, Lord. Amen. As we speak to the, the individuality, the uniqueness of creation, you are the creator God, yes. and you put that, that creative spark, that creative spirit in each of us, Lord. And when that comes together with all the fruit and all the gifts of the spirit, as we maintain, keep on the full armor of God, and we hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, it's like, which way is the battle? I'll run to that battle. Lord, as you lead me, as you call me, as you send me, we say, here we are, Lord. Like in Isaiah, the angel put the coal to his lip and he was undone. And he said, here I am, Lord, send me. We say that together. Let's say that. Here we are. Send us. Sent us into the nations, and the nations are coming to us. We don't even have to go out of yeah. town. Yeah. We can go to Walmart or Food Lion and experience different people groups, ethnos from around the world, right wherever we live, Lord. But your word says in Psalm 2 8, ask of me, and I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. So let us learn and get more revelation about exousia yeah. of that dominion authority yeah. that the Father provides to us, that we may walk in that fullness of authority, not for our own comfort or our benefit or any privilege, because we are vessels of clay, yeah. and he gives it to us so that we can help, that we can bring comfort to those in need, that we can bring hope to the hopeless, that we can bring healing to those that are sick and infirm. Amen. And Father, we just uh, thank you for who you say we are. Yeah. Lord, help us to see others the way you see them, and let us speak to that fullness and completion of their destiny, or not to make them a clone or a duplicate or a robot, but to Speak to the completion that you were always faithful to complete the good work you started in them, Father, that we can come alongside together as brothers and sisters in arms, Lord, that we can walk into the promised land, even as if we sacrifice ourselves or we sacrifice our, our income or our gifts or talents, Lord, as we do it for your glory, for your kingdom. Jesus was asked, what's the most important commandment? And he said to love the Lord God, your, your king, your, your, your Lord with all your heart, soul, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Lord, that we would continue to grow in selfless love, Lord, and that we would be the type of Christ-like leader with the integrity of Christ, Lord, that we would continually sow into other people without expecting anything in return. Amen. That we would just be obedient. That we would be your voice crying in the wilderness. Lord, for this is a sinful, dark, evil world. Lord, we see it every day all around us, Lord. And help us to be that messenger of fire, messenger of hope, of life, of a better way that is only found through you, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I have lots of notes. You can sell these on eBay. <laughs> Come prepared and have notes if the Holy Spirit doesn't show up. <laughs> Man, get out of the way and let Yahweh be Yahweh. And I want to allow time because we have many from uh, online from different countries and states. And we have many here from different backgrounds. And, and CMM is, is a safe place for people from different streams, different backgrounds, different cultures to come together as one. As Jesus prayed in his last unanswered prayer in John 17, that we would be one as he and the Father are one. But I want to leave time because each one has a voice. And we love to... It's team ministry always of taking taking turns of sharing. It's like Jesus Christ is always the head. He's our high priest and our chief intercessor. And we are just parts of his body, his bride, his ecclesia, his remnant, fired up and fueled up and ready for the end times until he comes. He says to occupy 
until he comes. We need to be ready today, but it could be 50 or 500 years. Those things don't matter. We need to live each day to the max, to the full, that we're doing what he calls us to do. And we're seizing the day and we're giving him the glory. So praise God. Amen. Yes. Um, we don't have a set protocol. Welcome to CNN. <laughs> Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Um, how about I go through and read the certificates. And those that are here, you can come and pick it up. And those that are online, we'll um, email them to you or we'll be taking some to Ecuador in June because that's just a few weeks away. So first we have our dear sister and Emanuela and Edwin. Amen. Our powerful intercessors and prophetic watchmen and women, women on the wall. And I encourage you to have them uh, pray and prophesy over you and become friends with each other. Can you guys move on this side? Everybody who gets okay. something, because they want to speak. Okay. There you go. Oh, Rodrigo, here. Can you find Edwards in here? Okay. I've got his wife's. And can somebody uh, take pictures from over there? Oh, um, I think we just Sideways. Sir Edwin. Play hands. I don't know how we'll do it. We'll figure it out by the end. We're going to lay hands on everybody at the right time. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, here. Danda, come in here and get pictures. Aw, yeah. Like a boob in I know. Why not? Okay. Two bananas. <laughs> Anna in the temple. Okay, in the temple. Okay. okay. Please, 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 please. Thanks. Turn around. Okay. George, turn around. One more picture. Okay. 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 Yes. 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 Oh, next we have a Miss Kathy and Joey and Gail. So we have uh, Kathy and Gail from the great state of Maine. Let me put them up to where she decided that. So, Kathy. They're good friends with uh, Cynthia and Ed Bulger, James Anderson, and me. And we invite you to come up on August 19th and 20th will be their uh, summer conference, 10th Crusade in Rumford, Maine area. And we invite you to experience the great north. Can you guys raise your hand? Um, Kathy. Right here. Let me go ahead and, um, yeah, okay. So I want to pin you on the, on the video so everybody can see you on the video, okay? There we go. Let's do it. There we go. 
We can't see it here, but I can see it. This can be video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Kathy and Gail, we bless you, and I'll be sure to pray and lay hands on you when I see you in August, if not sooner. But these are mighty women of God, very prophetic, strong intercessors, very, very uh, much um, mouthpieces for the Lord in this day. So God bless you guys. We love you and look forward to seeing you. Cynthia was busy today. Pray for Cynthia. She is going back to the Catholic church that she left um, brokenhearted 40 years ago, and she's doing worship there tomorrow. So this is Amen. Amen. For, uh, for Cynthia tomorrow in that Catholic church as she raises the room. I told her I saw the glory cloud of heaven coming down. Hallelujah. Things happen. She's a powerful worshiper. She was here last week, the week before, for the worship conference. And next we have these are all my favorite people <laughs> Reverend, Madam. Princess of the King, Jolie Carr. Yeah. <laughs> From North Carolina. And we just uh, thank the Lord that Jolie has such insights into the Word and the Spirit. And he's just powerful going into uh, jails, ministering to prisoners, and just bringing hope and light to all those that she sees. And she serves on prophetic teams as well. So, Hi, Steve. We look forward to seeing you soon. God's not going to let you get away. You <laughs> can't let me get away, so I know. Bless you. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Oh! And here we have with us, we have Cristobal Chamale. <laughs> the Lord answers prayers. And he's so faithful. Chris uh, lived and worked with us about 18 or 20 years ago for a couple years. And Chris and Ixi in Guatemala, his mom and dad are dear friends. And they, they help CMM in so many miraculous ways, arranging Powerful times of meetings. We used to take a lot of youth groups to Guatemala and we would see the Lord show up in public schools, private schools, uh, garbage dumps uh, up in the rainforest, um, in churches of many stripes and colors and backgrounds. It was powerful. But uh, Chris is a real answer to prayer. He's one of the most familiar with CMM and our vision and the path and the journey the Lord's had us on in the last few years. And welcome back. And Chris just got married. Yeah. So pray for Bree. We we know she's gonna have many crowns in heaven. <laughs> and so will Chris. One more. Okay. Okay. Yes. So now we're going to go to Ecuador. The Joy Plains, the Ecuador. First, we have uh, Darwin Gonzalez. Dr. Gustavo, you want to introduce and uh, tell us about Darwin? Uh, um, I, I uh, don't speak very well in English. I, I can't uh, uh, speak something. <laughs> uh, okay. But I, I, I am uh, very, very happy for this uh, ordination. Uh, uh, I am with uh, the root mother in the Sukkot, mini, uh, Sukkot ministry. So uh, both of both of uh, us uh, as elaborate uh, this uh, this ordination, but uh, it's a, a long uh, a long way for this uh, this ordination, and and I am very very happy and bless you and everything and um, uh, everyone I I bless you and I, and I love love us. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mucho te amo, hermano. 
Yeah, English is bueno, excelente. Oh, muy bien. Bueno, para los, para los que... Me... Oh. Sí, y bueno, sí, para los que... Español, pues, eh, me quería decirles que es un, un gran honor, un, un gusto inmenso que poder tener esta gran oportunidad que, que ustedes a través de CMM y, y a través oh, de nuestro... De nuestro de nuestro creador, nuestro Señor, pues nos ha dado esta oportunidad de poder servirle a Él, de estar en su palabra y poder llevar a los lugares del, de toda la tierra su palabra, su evangelio y sobre todo el amor, la fe y la esperanza que tenemos. Entonces estoy muy contento, muy orgulloso, les quiero mucho, eh, les bendigo y les mando muchos saludos. Ok, gracias. Thank you. Thank you. And next is David Cordero. Hi, David. Hola. Hello, hello, George and everyone. I'm very happy. Uh, it's a blessing in my life and my country too. Received the this certificate, yeah. Because um, I, I'm I'm very happy. Uh, God um, give me a um, blessed family, blessed ministry, and I I, I can't the words to explain the, now my heart is beating 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 my my spirit too. Is a real <laughs> is a real privilege share with with you with um, with Gustavo with Gustavo too, with all, all brothers in Jesus Christ. And thank you, God bless you and continue move this ministry around the world. And uh, you, you have a family in Ecuador, when you want to visit me, visit my family, you have a new, uh, a new uh, city, new home in my country. Yeah, and we love you and bless your ministry. Thank you. And next we have Said Zabana. Where's that? Gustavo, is he here? Said Baba? No. Hi, George. Zabana. No, no, Said, no, but uh, Ruth Nader is here. Yeah, Ruth is that I was saving the best for last. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Ruth. <laughs> Save the table at our favorite restaurant, okay? <laughs> yeah, yes, for sure. <laughs> we are waiting for you. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. So we just love you, Ruth. Love your family. And uh, Ruth is in the marketplace. And you're with Sakat Ministry also, correct? <laughs> correct, correct. Yes, well, my name is uh, Ruth Nader. Um, uh, I am... Uh, um, the Lord give us a, a ministry that is Ministerio Sukkot. And for me, this is a blessing. This has been a very special day for me, especially. Um, and um, it's very special to receive this certificate. It's not only a paper. For me, it's uh, um, to be, um, to have the, the legal right uh, with, the, with the fire of the spirit because our nations need that. Our nations need us to move in the fire of the spirit. Um, we are um, uh, with the very difficult situations, but it doesn't matter if the sons of God are with the fire of the spirit. So um, I, I really received that certificate, um, not only as a, as a paper, I received it from God to telling me just go and do what I tell you to do. Amen. Thank you, Ruth. Dios te bendiga. Gracias. Blessings. Okay, I'm going to go back around here. And um, we want to allow time for words, but it's so true. Um, the Lord ordained each of you before the world began, and that he is strengthening 
preparing you. And there's a real mantle of courage that is being placed carefully and lovingly, strategically on each one of you being ordained today for the days ahead to go forth with fresh boldness as a new creation in Christ Jesus that you are and have been, but will grow into increasing revelatory experiential um, carrying out of the marching orders from the very throne room of God. Amen. Amen. So I want to allow uh, any um, one to, to just say a prayer or give prophetic words for any of those online or those here. So speak loudly. Uh, well, I would like to, um, Edgar, did you want to say anything to me? Ben Edwin? Uh, up to you. <laughs> so, um, for, uh, for Edwin and uh, Manny, <laughs> Emanuela. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We are so honored. We're just so honored to know what to do. I saw it was the Lord gave me. So now we know. Okay, amen. Um, the Lord says to you, first of all, I made an anointing oil for your ministry. Awesome. And the Lord called it nations, and it's based on Psalm 2, verse 8 and 9. So it says, Ask me, this is what the Lord's saying to you. Ask me, and I will give you the nations. You will carry my word to the nations. Some will be very unconventional, mm -hmm. the very unconventional ways he's going to do this. I have made you my trumpets to sound the alarm that I am coming soon. Get ready. You'll be sharing that to the nations. Mm -hmm. Be ready to move when I say you will not be alone when you venture out. Mm -hmm. I'm about to take you on an intense journey into my heart so that you will be able to impart my heart to others. And I'd like to encourage you to take a step forward again and again. You've just stepped into the next three years, four years <laughs> of your life. <laughs> Let me tell you what that's oh, 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 <laughs> So it's significant that she kept moving forward and even stopped at five. When you were, um, and she was handed out the paperwork, Anna came in, and then your daughter came and stood on the other side. They're both being named Anna. The Lord said, I will surround you with my grace. Grace, grace, and grace. And the fact that you step forward five times, there's a third level of grace. Amen. You're going to see the grace of the Lord move in so many ways. It's going to, you're going to scratch your head and wonder. I know that this is God. So, you know, we are super excited and honored. When Edgar and I talked to them and suggested and presented to you the thought of being ordained, I think I shared with you, I saw the one hand and the key. And they went to go to the door. This is the first step of the door. So we say, welcome to the family of the door. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone, just stretch your hand. Just stretch your hand. Father God, we bless them. Yeah. We say, God, they, 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 they are called. Yes. They are chosen. Yes. They are chosen. They are called. Yes. And we thank you for them, Lord. Yes. Bless them. Watch over them, yeah, protect amen. them, amen. be with them all the way, all the way in Jesus' precious name. Amen. amen. We got one more thing. I'm sorry, George. Where, where's your bag? It's in the room's room. So, you know, it's, it's a gift bag. It's so, yeah. see, man, we're so excited. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So very quickly, um, 
I can say it's on me in several languages. <laughs> <laughs> they all add up to be the same. <laughs> Hallelujah. You were supposed to open that for yourself. So I'm doing it. So, uh, Edgar, you want to come in and open please? It's so great to see Edgar and, and hear again. Edgar's been through a real health challenge, but he's healed in Jesus' name. And we are praying for his eyesight to return properly. Amen. Amen. Is that thing possible for God? Are you going to stand in front of us? Okay. Use it. Can you use the oil? Just roll it on your head. The anointing of the Father and the Son. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I saw the Lord say, just simply go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you. Father God, we just thank you for Manuel and Edwin and for Dana, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And we thank you for all the wonderful, exciting adventures you have for them to go on as they climb the new heights. And I was here in the, even this last week, open doors, <laughs> open doors, open yeah. doors, and you just walk yeah. through them by faith, and the Holy Spirit has yeah. already opened it yeah. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So when I first saw you, this is what the Lord gave me, this amazing picture of two funnels over the top of your head. Mm -hmm. You know, funnels, yes. one on you and one of you. And what he showed me was that he was pouring mm -hmm. into both of you. And what he was pouring initially mm -hmm. was gold. Mm -hmm. Pouring that into you both. Because you know what it means to buy gold, like Jesus said in Revelation, buy gold from me. You know what it means to be refined by fire. Yes. And part of your, your persistent prayer, if you will, or your persistent asking the Lord, all your ministry has been that you want to be vessels of fire. Oh, yeah. yeah? yeah. That you've been going into the nation, that every time you speak, every time you lay hands on someone, oh, yeah. that the of God would come out of you. So what he's doing is he's putting in that gold, but that everywhere you go, everyone you touch, every word that you say, every ministry that you come in contact with, everything that you birth, every person that you speak to, well, fire will come out of you, and it will, and that fire will be that which will in, in, in of its inherentness begin to roll like a domino and spread forth, spread forth everywhere that you go, it will spread and bear fruit. Some things it will burn, other things it will ignite, says the Lord. So Father, we just thank you. We thank you for that prayer. We thank you for Jesus. And that's what you Father God, you in these confined vessels, Father God, as they go forth, that which they have prayed for, that which they have sought your spirit for, oh God, shall come to pass. Amen. And I'm just going to say this. I know we talked a little bit about Zachariah yes. earlier. Yes. And I made a statement to you, and it impacted my heart when I said it, and I keep hearing it for you. 
Everything with Zechariah dealt with oil being coming down, the positioning, the ordaining, the putting in their places. But the biggest thing that God said to him, of course, what I'd said, speak grace to the mountain. Mm. And this is for your self-maintenance. This is for you keeping things fresh, alive, so the fire can continuously flow. Amen. There's a definition for grace that God gave me not long ago from a friend. And it's simply this. Grace is simply God doing in you mm -hmm. what you cannot yeah. do for yourself. Mm -hmm. And there will be seasons in the days ahead that you will wonder, you'll fret, you'll look at, you'll say, what do I do? And you're going to just cry out to God and say, do in me right now what I need you to do. I don't even know what I need. I don't even know what to ask for. But do in me right now that which refreshes and re and re your grace in and through me. Amen. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Any other words for people here in the room or online? Yeah, go ahead. Edwin and Emmanuel, I just want to bless you with God's presence and his heart, especially for the brokenhearted, those that have suffered through much abuse trauma in their hearts. I pray that you will just show them the love of the Father and of Jesus, that you could bind up their wounds and pour over them the balm of Gilead. And just heal them and give them, show them the life of Jesus and his and just his life and encouragement. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I've got to pray, you know, this point the scripture, uh, Deuteronomy 8, uh, verses 7 to 10. When I first met you, Edwin, I always felt like you were like this pastor, like the strong voice, like Martin Luther King. Like you have an influence. When you speak, people listen. And it's like a roaring river over you and mm. your your wife. And I just feel like the line of Judah is roaring over you. Mm. Mm. As, as we're speaking right now, I just feel like the presence of God is right here in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. So it says here, for the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land of flowing streams and pools of water with fountains and springs that gush out in the valleys and hills. This is a land of wheat and barley of grapevines, fig trees, and pomegranates of oil and honey. It is a land where food is plentiful and nothing is lacking. It is a land where iron is as common as stones and copper is abundant in the hills. When you have eaten your fill, the Lord says, be sure to praise the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. And I truly believe that it's just not land that we, we work. It's your land. It's your body. It's her body. You're, you're taking government of your land. Mm -hmm. your body. Mm -hmm. And you have authority over your land. Mm -hmm. And you walk in such authority with God. Nations are going to shame you. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a flowing over you right now. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I just feel like there's a, a stream of water cleansing and pouring into your spirit now, you're being filled more, more, more. Yes. So, Father, I thank you for this mighty man of God. Thank you for this mighty woman of God. I bless them now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, I pray to their belly right now, where living rivers are flowing. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha, healer of our soul. Thank you, Papa. Thank you for the things you're doing. Yes, Father. They are ready to go. They're ready to go. You said go. And I ask this in your powerful, almighty, healing name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Since before we came to move from Rhode Island to that's South Carolina, that's, that's, the, that's the scripture the Lord gave us. Stay Yes, Emily. And I just, um, I just want to thank God for you. Actually, I just want to say this to you that um, I, it's so different. I just feel like that the Lord is saying today is just recognizing, or just you know, is recognizing who you are. This is just a recognition of what you've been doing and who you are. And it's really incredible. Like this is a door, and it's only a door because you said yes. And I, I hear, I see the Lord arising with healing on His wings, with lights. But it's like beams of light. It's glory light. And I thank God for what He's giving you. And I ask God to begin to increase your sphere of influence. I'm seeing that sphere, the sphere of influence, the light oh, yeah. is going over that right now. That He would increase that in all the revelatory things that He's giving you because it's profound. And that He would bring clarity, clarity in every way that you need right now. Clarity, 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 Father. And Father, you have yes. revelation and wake together and coming out of your belly. Because you've got a divine connection with the Lord. It's a pure connection. It's a pure connection. And Lord, I hold her arms up right now. I thank you, God, that you send people to hold her arms up in me. Whoa. The presence of the Lord is so strong on that right now. Lord, I thank you that they're holding her arms up, that she's going to walk through and overcome in every area, in every area, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hear it say it's because you're trusted in him. You're trusted in him. It's by the divine calling and unction that you're here today. So the Lord says, whoa, welcome to the family. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. Emily, I'm thinking you like um with one of those flashlights that doctors do surgery mm -hmm. with. And then <laughs> you have very sharp discernment. And you are truly a spiritual, physical, emotional healer of people and as i saw you working on somebody's chest like working on their heart and you're going deeper and it's like your discernment and your prophetic anointing that prophetic unction is able to pee down into the very issues of the heart as you as you go the lord shows you more and as you go the lord shows you more yeah. and as you you uh, reveal the issues of the heart of someone it's it's not to condemn or to judge or to no. criticize, but it's to help them get healed, to get delivered, and to be made whole in a truly holistic spiritual way that you're able to go deeper. And I know you love to do word studies and go deeper, and I just see you like a miner looking for gems, mm -hmm. and, and the Lord uh, honors you with that, with the gift of discovery, to be able to uncover what is hidden to expose what is darkness or not of him and to be able to go down to the root of the matter, the heart of the matter, to bring restoration and healing through the holiness of God, Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just fresh wind of glory. <laughs> I just want to add to everything that was said here. So God is going to show you some really interesting things. He's already began to show you some things, and you've been saying, Gosh, really? Wow, what happens if I am wrong? Is this really you? God, I need to be sure. So the Holy Spirit will be sure. Because I'm sure. Yeah. Do not be afraid. Step out and do certain things that he tells you to do. Mm -hmm. Because they may be a little unconventional. But he wants you to step out because it's part of your training. Mm -hmm. It's part of learning to trust him, even when it doesn't make sense. But your spirit connects with him and it knows. Mm -hmm. So he said, don't be afraid if I show you things. 
you have to say it because he's relying as much mm. on you mm. as you are relying on him. Mm. Because if you won't say it, it won't get done. Mm. So he wants you to look at him that light, that this is an incredible treasure mm. that he's given to you to be that voice piece for him on behalf of those that he sings into that sit before you. It's really, really important. Just do it. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. First, I want to give you this. It's a symbol of who you are to everyone. You bring fresh water. You make things that are stale, new. You bring joy wherever you go. You bring a perspective that they need to see and they need to experience. And do you mind if I wet you here a little bit? Mm -hmm. I promise I won't go to water. Okay. I want it all. It's just a little bit. I just see the one doing a fresh little baptism on me. That's fine. No Sorry. Problem. Sorry about the comment. Yes. Hallelujah. It's a fresh baptism. That you can just water. Oh! Fresh baptism that I'm giving you. Fresh rivers of water. I'll touch your belly. Even for you. Even for you. Right now. Yes. Yeah. Water drain from the river. Yes. Of water. And how yes. you. Now yes. he you. Professor, mm. you're the professor. Mm. Oh, I see you going through the libraries of heaven, mm. and I see you pulling the books out of the old. Oh, this is about me. Hey, I wrote this. Deep breath. You receive those books from heaven. You write them. Hallelujah, professor. Then I saw him change your clothes. You have on this beautiful white outfit with a gold belt and girl you're packing nice <laughs> she's packing nice but she just can't see it and at, at, at the unction of the holy spirit you pull it out and you know how to use it because they are the word of god that sharpened like a scalpel and you know how to use it you know how to make a fine cut that looks like it was never cut but then everything opened up so god's called me he says death now, um, now you're going to have to walk around the mm. chairs. Um, God wants you to walk, this is a prophetic act, walk around these chairs seven times. This is going to count. One, 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 two, one, two, three, three. <laughs> 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 you are seated in heavenly places oh, yeah. with the Father. You are seated in heavenly places with the Father. Professor, you are seated. Rest, Lord says. Enter into my rest and let me show you great and mighty things. Because even now, things have been happening. Things have been set in motion. That's going to put you a year from now. You're going to be in a totally different place. But you're going to be laughing so hard. You're going to go, how did I get here? So the Lord said to do this is another thing. I'll like show and tell. Um, he said to lay this over you. Because he wants you to know he loves you. Amen. He's got your back. He has you. He is your husband. He has your back. He has, I don't know anything about you. He says, I have your back. And I am so jealous over you in my sweet love. I am so jealous. If the enemy even tries to come near you, this is what happens. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And keep jealous. Okay. He warns on you. He's just warring. And the sound is just saying, I see the enemy going, because they can't oh, cut his anointing. The sound here. Yeah, someone online has a word. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Pam Harrison, let me take a moment, Pam, before you speak and hang out as Pam, hold that thought or prophetic word. I want to introduce those 
that are here and online that are CMM ordained people. Uh, my lovely wife, Anna, Dr. Nancy, Indira, Alicia and Stephen Paris over there, Edgar and Indira are, and also Samuel Desai from India who just got here yesterday. And of course, uh, Edwina, Edwin and Emanuela and online, Dr. Pamela Harrison, Dr. Cindy Johnson, um, Gustavo and Andrea and many in Ecuador are, hi Dr. Cindy and I, Think and I think that's everyone that's ordained, and so we want to keep um, those that are praying to the CMM ordained people speaking over them. So, Dr. Pamela, take it away. Praise the Lord. Um, I really was raising my hand in agreement with what the Holy Spirit was saying, but I'm just so uh, grateful and thankful to be here and the blessing of the Lord be upon each and every uh, person that's being ordinated in ordination today and everyone who's present. To God be the glory. We thank God for you, Dr. George and uh, Dr. Anna and the full staff there, Dr. Nancy and everyone. To God be the glory. Dr. Pam has a powerful ministry of reconciliation in Mayberry RFD in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Come on up sometime and see the presence of the Lord at work in those Amen. areas. She's bringing reconciliation. She also works with one of our missionaries in uh, Ethiopia, Adugna de Gebra, and hopefully Adugna and his beautiful family from Ethiopia will be here uh, sometime in God's timing. Yes, hallelujah. Love you, Dr. Pamela. Love you too. Anyone else have a word online for Emily? I think there are other words online, but I don't, I don't see them for Emily. So I think and Dr. Gustavo shared a bunch of words for um, Ecuadorans in Spanish there in the text box. So okay. they've all seen those. Praise God. Praise God. We're glad um, you're here. I was just going to say, since um, Indira brought it up over Emily, I felt really strongly that the Lord was saying a lot of you are extremely busy. You're under a lot of duress. And that it's not always easy being in that place of battle. I found that there are times when I get into church and the Holy Spirit is really there. All I want to do is lie on the floor and sleep. <laughs> Just remember, in rest and quietness is your strength mm. and your confidence. Hallelujah. It's okay. And that's the best place mm. to rest. Yeah. Invite him when you lie down to sleep at night. Shut up. And your sleep will be sweet. Hallelujah. Because he knows that you're trusting him mm -hmm. to take care of all, all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. And there are times when he's going to call you to rest and it makes no sense. But I have to do this and I have to do that. No, if you take that time to rest, everything else will go so much smoother mm -hmm. and so much more efficiently, it will more than make up for it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyone else online or in person with words or encouragement? Um, this is this is Deb. My voice sounds really awful. I have a word for I have a word for um he's listed here on David C. What's his Cordera in, in Ecuador? Cordera, okay. So David, I I don't know you, but the Lord just he dropped kind of I just saw I saw um pilot's license and I saw, and I heard the word doctors without borders. And the combination, I, what I saw was God's giving you, um, he's, he's just, he's preparing ways for you. I, I saw a lot of ministry out and about in across borders that God will give you favor and grace to go into territories that normally would require documents and visas and a lot of even military 
checkpoints. I just saw the Lord giving you favor. Like Doctors Without Borders are accepted in difficult countries because they've come to heal. And and I saw that you have just a ministry of of healing um, in, of body, soul, and spirit for people of, you know, healing of their bodies, of sicknesses, healing of their souls, <laughs> excuse me, um, healing, you know, of, of a spiritual nature and deliverance as well. And, um, and then the, the pilot's license, I just saw the Lord just taking you into higher realms and kind of flying you over obstacles, flying you over like I know Ecuador, Peru, you know, there's mountains and things that take a long time to travel if you went by foot. But if you take a plane, you can get there very quickly. And I see the Lord translating you, transporting you and with means and methods um, to get to where he wants to send you. And I just I just wanted to I just I saw this very strongly. The Lord's just he's he's kind of got like a training camp that you're in and taking people through to prepare them how to um, navigate into territories that are unknown even and yet there are people there who are waiting to hear the gospel and he's giving you favor that and you'll and i saw you doing this but i also see you like training a group it's kind of like david's mighty men where he trained his mighty men to, and they all, you know, they, they came out of their own de- depression and despondency and they became mighty men. I see the Lord's giving you an anointing to encourage and train up others, um, even in, ad, you know, adversity. And when the, when the devil attacks, I just see God giving you and your mighty men, your, your team that he's, he's giving to you to overcome and um, just destroy the works of the devil and um, just just your 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 part of God's building his you know establishing his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And that's it. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we pray for healing for Jeff Forster. Lord, just open up uh, the airways, the bronchial tubes, the esophagus, the lungs. Lord, we speak uh, the breath of God, the holy ruach, breathing on her, healing her, restoring her. In Jesus' name. And amen. amen. Uh, yes, David. Um, I see the Lord putting a, a crown on you, a, a scepter in in your hand. And um, I know that represents more kingdom authority or really increasing in kingdom authority. And then I see you running. And you're just running and running and running, and you're running so fast, it's like your clothes are almost dripping off. You're just running. Mm-hmm. But 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 the Lord is gonna really or has to you to really run this race and it's you're running it fast and fast, but it's not as you're really you don't feel it in the natural like you're running your face. You just have a heart to really run this race that the Lord has set before you. And then the next thing I see is you feeding this uh bowl, this black uh bowl of soup. And sometimes soup, and I know it's out to the needy, different soup, sometimes you just have to put in it what you have, but whatever you have to put in it, the Lord is really going to use you to uh, feed his hungry people. And I think that's also not only in the spiritual, but but, but in the natural as well. The Lord's going to give you opportunity to really feed these. And, and what comes to me, it's really the least of these. The Lord is, is touching it and, and giving it heart for it. Delicioso. Uh, she, um, I didn't hear anything. Um, David, praise the Lord. Um, I saw the Lord hand you blueprints to the city. Then I saw special ops plans was also given to you in the spirit. He will use you and your team to rescue those who are in darkness. I see musical notes surrounding you, all around you. Worship is one of the weapons of your warfare. The Lord is singing over you. I hear drums, like a drum circle. And this drum circle is circling the enemy Mm -hmm. with confusion as he tries to attack you. 
So I want to declare over you, Shalom, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his Shalom. Amen. Nothing broken, nothing missing. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Uh, Dr. Cindy, did you have something? Um, uh, just a little station break here on April. 21st and 22nd, we invite you to a special Trauma to Trust webinar, and you can inquire of us, somebody on staff here can give you the uh, website for it to learn more, and this will be uh, with a team of full-time professional Christian counselors. Yes, Nancy. I'll put it in the chat. Okay, she'll put it in the chat. And then on April 28th, at 10 a.m., we have a special friend, Mahareen. Some of you locally know her. She's going to be doing a free training online. Both of these are available around the world, wherever you are, on prophetic evangelism of how you can uh, get out of your comfort zone and, and let your heart for the lost, your love for the lost, uh, get some traction and see what the Lord sees and speaking to that and seeing souls be saved and set free, healed, and delivered. So stay tuned with uh, activities. And if you're not on our newsletter list, you can go to our website at cmm.world, check in more. Uh, Dr. Cindy, I wanted to invite you to share. She's in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Amen. I don't have a word for a particular single person, but all the while we've been watching the love of God for everyone here, everyone there, far away. I think it's so all consuming, it's beyond words, his love and his destiny and his purpose for each and every one. And there, it just seems like CMM is a refuge, a shelter. Um, it's so beautiful. So be encouraged each and every one of you, the best is yet to be. Thank you, Cindy, say hi to Paul. I will. And I know, Gustavo, you had, Dr. Gustavo, you had a lot of words for um, our Spanish friends. Do you care to say anything out, um, in, in, out loud in Spanish for them? Dr. Gustavo, do you want to unmute? Gustavo is the director of our school and based in Ecuador, but reaching many Spanish speaking countries around the world and also the South American, Latin American CMM director, dear friends of ours, he and his sister Andrea uh, teach in the school and boy, they just bring people in from every background and stream for glory of the Lord and we just love them all dearly. Because some of them, he, he might be making some espresso or some <laughs> She She has something for Julie. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jolie, I, I see you in a nurse's outfit. And um, I also see Red Cross. So I don't think, I, I think you might be doing some, some traveling and things like that. But what I know, I know the Lord is the great physician and he's going to use you as his nurse. And I see on this tray, this big needle with a shot. Sometimes people don't want shots. Well, you know, me, anything but a shot. Uh, so sometimes I know the Lord is really using you to share some things with people that they might not want to, to receive, but it's exactly what is necessary for them to heal and, and, and get better. But whatever is on that tray that you have for these people, they're exactly what the great physician ha, ha, has ordered. And, and then I also see you just up with like flying around in, 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 in the spirit. The Lord, I feel like it's going to really increase your revelation and a lot of it's going to be distance, th th things that are coming. But you're, you're going to have an outward view of everything that is about to happen, uh, not only for yourself, but for other people. Um, I guess, you know, uh, sometimes we see things close up and some kind of things we see kind of out in a distance. I think I see this as a distance overview of a lot of things that are happening uh, in the world and just in people's people's lives. Well, well, okay. Um, 
Jolie, I'm seeing for you, you like a, a young girl that you love to be out in the woods with the Lord, walking with the Lord. And I saw you have such an inquisitive mind, such a curious desire to uncover things. And I saw you like walking along in the, in the leaves, the fallen leaves and the, and the natural foliage that's out in the woods and going down by a stream. And the Lord draws attention to you of things that, that other people may miss, but you're able to find a beauty in what the world may not think is beauty. But as you look upon it, it's like a, a quantum activation of a discovery and a realization of the beauty within of all everything that God made. God is the best artist. And as you pick up a rock or a shell or an animal, even an animal skin, uh, you see the beauty in it of the fingerprint of God, the artist, and that you're able to do that in a miraculous way with people with very sharp uh, perception beyond the, the physical, the five physical senses, you're able to perceive in the spirit and discern what the Lord has hidden. And as you speak to that person, you help them to walk into greater fullness and completion of the purpose and the reason that they were born. So you're a great, like a, a, a detective in, the, in nature to be able to uncover and spot the gems and the treasures that others would miss. Amen. So keep on looking. Awesome. Jolie, I, it kind of goes along with what you were just saying. I saw you like a tiny little person and I saw the eye of God. It's huge. So he picked you up and he put you inside of his eye. So you can see what he sees. And I heard the word creativity and creation. Because you are looking through his eyes, you would see what needs to be done. You would see what needs to be said. And then I saw your hand. He took a hold of your hands and he showed you how to create what you were seeing. I don't know if you do artwork or not, but if you do, it's about to explode. But God is so creative, the eye kind of went into your mouth. And with your mouth, you were creating signs and wonders and miracles. So I would encourage you, speak the word and expect it to happen. Um, I, I saw this as a demarcation. Uh, uh, you crossed over today into, into, a, um, into a, a different season. And I feel like it was the confidence that you had to take this step. And that's why things are going to begin to enlarge. And I saw when everybody was praying, like the lenses are being changed. And it's just with this confidence that you took to take the step, continue to take steps in that confidence that he's given you because he's opening up this new field. I see a whole new opening up for you, but it's just continue to take those steps forward because this is a new day for you. And I give God praise for that. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. So um, Anna and Nancy, you guys want to come up? So we're going to um, raise hands because you're not all here. Those that are here, being ordained, come forward over here. And um, let's see, where can we get a central spot? Because really the spotlight is on you. You were all ordained before the foundation of the world. And this really is a, a point or line of demarcation of stepping over into a new, a new time, a new era with, with excitement, with humility, with childlike faith and anointing and a particular mantle for courage in the days ahead. And so, Lord, we just dance and spin. And so, Father, we officially ordain each of those here present in the room and those online uh, with the CMM Christ mandate permissions uh, for your glory, Lord, to reach the impact an impact with depth and maturity in raising up mature sons and daughters of you, our most high God, in the days ahead. Holy Spirit, breathe on us, Lord. We 
don't know which way the wind will blow, but Lord, increase our sensitivity to the seven spirits of God in every area, Lord, that we would know when it's you, we would know when it's not you, we would be able to discern the times, discern the spirits, and to be able to separate the false from the holy, Lord, and help others to discern and know and to stand for holiness, truth, righteousness, and living sanctified, surrendered life. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Thank you all. I, and, and, I saw you really come there and ask you the Lord, and I saw you get not being the ticket there by now, Cassidy, but none. Yeah. Lord, to go in and speak as a holy royal ambassador of the African King. And so we're going to close. And I do want to uh, introduce uh, a friend that we haven't seen in a long time, uh, Jackie Jersomata. If you want to stand up, Jackie is, uh, we met like, I don't know, when, five or six years ago, and she has. Um, beautiful children and grandchildren in Colorado in here, uh, and here back here now, and we're just so thankful. Lord, she has experience in many areas of, of training and radio and media, and we're looking forward to do more to connect with boots on the ground reports from around the world. And so, thanks for Jackie. No, I this last bit, I want this last bit. Okay. Don't be late for school on Monday. <laughs> You're teaching, teaching a class on advanced childlike faith. Amen. Well, God bless you all. We love you and we look forward to seeing you all soon. Let us know how we can pray for you. And we encourage you to go to our website at pivot.world if you haven't done so lately and sign up for requests for ministry for our prophetic teams. And bless all our volunteers, pray for our intercessors, our prophetic teams, volunteers, our staff locally and afar that help uh, do ministry. We have five prophetic teams ministering prophetically with the nations of the world every week, and they love to pray and prophesy for you. So congratulations to all the newly working people, and we love you. We look forward to seeing you soon. We love you. Thank you. Ciao. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining.